In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn some apps into portable apps that can be ran from a thumb drive without installing. So to start this off, there's a few pieces of software on the market that are pay and some are free. Today I'm going to show you one that is free. Now keep in mind, turning portable apps isn't foolproof. It doesn't work on every single app, but it does work on a lot of them. So today we're going to show you Enigma Virtual Box, which is a piece of software you can use to turn some of your apps into portable. So I Google Enigma Virtual Box. Go to their website, which is enigmaprotector.com, and download. Now, I have three options. I'm going to choose Enigma Virtual Box, install it, and then launch it. Today, we're going to try two or three different programs. I'm going to show you the difference and how some will work and some will fail. So first things first, we're going to browse to the original EXE we want to install. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to try something simple like Winderstat, very useful program for figuring out which files are taking up your hard drive space. So we're going to go to that folder and we're going to select the executable file. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set a folder to actually save this stuff to. which will save it to uh, a desktop. And we'll name it Winderstat Portable. Okay, now what we wanna do is we wanna go to the bottom and click Add, and we're gonna add folder recursively. Now this is gonna let me select the Winderstat folder. Here we go. And uh, the actual source Winderstat folder and add any missing files that may be in that folder that wouldn't normally come along. Okay, Winderstat, there we go. And we're gonna leave it at default folder, add folder, okay. And now we're gonna process. Okay, successful. Now I have a folder here for it. Now let's run it first and foremost. Okay, it does show up on my other computer monitor. But we can test this out further to make sure I have a Windows sandbox here, which is basically a, a virtual environment. I copied it over to that, and let's run it. There we go. We have a portable version of Winderstat. Extremely useful. If you've never used it, you should try this program. It's amazing. All right, so let's try another one. Another one that I know works. We're going to do a Qubit Torrent. It's a good, useful thing to have on a thumb drive. Why not? There we go. Qubit Torrent. Same thing. We're going to dump it in the same desktop folder I had before. Okay. And we'll name it Portable instead of Boxed. Portable. Save. We'll remove this old folder because that was part of the other program and we'll add Qubit Torrent here. The folder for that, which is here. I gotta browse to it. There it is. Okay, now process. Okay, let's just copy it over and see if it runs. Copy, paste. And there we go. It's an old version, but now we have BitTorrent that we can throw on a thumb drive and always have available. All right, so let's try one more, and one that I did try already, which uh, I couldn't get working, just to show you a difference. Something like, um, I know, Ping Plotter. Great program, very useful for diagnosing uh, packet loss. 
going to save that here. Portable. Okay. And we're going to add its folder recursively as well. Uh, I think that was here. There it is. And we're going to process it. Now, it looks like it worked, but every time I've done this, this, this one does not. But we'll try it anyway. Maybe somehow this time it works. I don't think it will, though. This one has special hooks into this. It's trying to do something that the portable generator does not understand. Here we go. Could not load this. This is a part of a JavaScript dependency of some sort, which uh, I haven't figured out yet. If I do figure it out, maybe I'll make a video for it. Um, but there you go. So that, that's one that couldn't get working. But my advice to you is if you want to make the most awesome thumb drive ever that you can take with you, pop in a computer and get work done, start trying these with some of your applications. You may be surprised which ones can actually convert. No problem. Uh, but there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. And as always, if you like this video and you want more like this video, do me a favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Fix It, Fix It, Fix It, and I'll see you next time.